What's good, you need gang? It's your boy, you need you back with another video, man. As y'all can see, we got your boy, Young Boy. I guess this one called My, My Mind Stuck in This Place. This uh part two of the Angela, Angela Yee interview with Young Boy. So we're going to get right into the video, man. Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, hit that post notification bell. Let's get into it. Trying to hide from the camera. I ain't going outside today. Have a good relationship, and you know, he said you need to leave here. Oh, I can't leave. I got, a, I got an anchor person on my mm -hmm. bed. I can't leave. Mm -hmm. I, I love, I be doing, I be doing lip boy shit. I be tripping. My mind, my mind stuck in this place. Mm -hmm. So, like, mm -hmm. I don't be, I don't, be, I don't know how to be, I don't know how to react to certain shit, but I'm learning though. Right. I be going to anger management class and all this. Shit. And that dude right there be, a fun, be with Funny Mike. Mm -hmm. This one. Oh, okay. You know, young boy and funny Mike used to be um, together and stuff. So. Mm -hmm. That that Charlie, his name Charlie, sound like a uh, the bodyguard or something. Yeah, like bodyguard. He'd be with like both of them, I guess. What do you be doing in anger management class? Like, what are the kind of things that they tell you? No, and they be asking me what make me <laughs> mad and stuff. I just be talking about that. I got a certificate though. I completed that class. Mm -hmm. I got to complete domestic violence now. Mm -hmm. Right. So, what does make you mad? What make me mad? Shit like that. Police and wrong. Mm -hmm. Cause we ain't doing nothing wrong. They just expect we gonna do mm -hmm. something. <laughs> like, we ask for security for you, right? <laughs> and they send him out. Right, oh, why he not? He the worst police. He a beat truck, he a shoot you, he a do anything. He the worst police. And this small hair, so I know you probably know all the police. They definitely know, know you. I know all of them, but I know him. Right. And I know you know me. So you think he purposely <laughs> would come here? I don't know why, I just feel like they sent him out here for a reason. Mm -hmm. We on a whole different track though, like, I'm trying to take my life somewhere else. I got four little boys. Right. Yeah, four, four kids at this point. That's a lot. I'm like 18. And he was 18, good gracious. Yeah, he's doing it and I be fooling. Mm -hmm. You still want to have a little girl? For sure. Mm. That's probably going to change a lot of things. I hope so. <laughs> I always wanted a daughter though. Mm -hmm. When I had my second son, I said I wanted a daughter. But the other two came out to be boys. Man, That's funny because I know a lot of guys who have girls huh? and wish they, got, like, oh, wish they would okay. have a boy. Think, oh, that was eight. for the eight. letter, right? Last, the last one, eight. Number eight, I think. This is the Number first eight number eight, yeah. Wow. That's funny because I know a lot of guys who have girls and wish they could have, like, wish they would have a boy and keep trying. Yeah. <laughs> I just want a little girl. Mm -hmm. So let's talk about your whole situation with your own father. Cause I see you have your kids with you a lot. Yeah. Like you bring your sons with you when you have to work, when you have shows to do. There's someone over there. Mm hmm All the time. How important is it for you? Like you always knew from the beginning, I'm gonna be in my kids' life. Cause I'm sure it affected you not having your dad around. You know, living with your grandparents. My dad in jail. I right. talk to my daddy every day. Mm hmm He just be wanting money and shit though. But I don't. What I'll else can you do like in jail? Know. I still call them daddy though to make them feel like somebody. Mm -hmm. But I ain't I ain't seen that dude since I was four years old. So oh I sent him money to just to you know feel like he got somebody there. Cause I he said when his son he don't care about none of that. He said when his dad get out or something like that he gon' still gonna put him in like a business or something like that. He said he mm -hmm. don't care about none of I that. I mean that's his daddy. That's who gave him life. You know. So of course you know respect your dad because of that just alone but who and now we see what his whole where it kind of somewhat started now i see y'all probably already done seen it because y'all know him or y'all have watched him and followed him throughout his years but now i see where things started and why they continue down a certain path so this is a good one i like interviews because i like the because interviews show that insight of a person. You know, you can only see so much through videos and hear so much through songs. But when you talk into this person face to face or someone interviewing them face to face, you really get to learn a lot about a person. Just to, you know, feel like he got somebody there because I know how it is when you're in jail. Right. Mm -hmm. I barely know him though. 
You ever go visit? Never. I ain't. If they ain't putting me in jail. I ain't stepping in no jail. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So you still feel that responsibility? Yeah. So um, you chose to live with your grandparents over your mom. It was really. I ain't had no choice. Cause my mom, she's. She, she all about a, she all about a nigga, and I'ma say it still, she all about a nigga. She used to put me before niggas, she used to put me out and shit. Mm -hmm. So, I always stay with my grandma, like my grandma to kill me. My grandma gave me anything I want. Mm -hmm. So you was kind of spoiled by your grandma, you would say. Yeah, my grandma made me feel love. Mm -hmm. And when she died, I ain't never felt that feeling again. Only time I ever feel love is when I walk on stage. That's interesting that you say that, because in your music, it feel like, you be falling in love sometimes. Yeah. It's a situation where it's like sometimes I feel like you don't trust women, but then sometimes you be so in love. I only trust one girl. I only trust my mama. I only trust one girl. Mm -hmm. I don't know. And that was a choice to trust her because I feel like now I just need somebody to hold me. Like I'm too caught up, so I need somebody to hold me. I, I still ain't never found that, that that one girl yet that, that understand me and that I that ain't really all about men who just understand my life and could take me away from me. Hmm. You still only eighteen though at the same time. Right, but I know what type of life I wanna live though. You think that you trustworthy though when it comes to relationships? No. So know. the question is this then. How do you <laughs> want somebody to How love do you? you? Expect <laughs> mm -hmm. a woman to be trustworthy if you're not. You think it's different? I don't know. You just gotta trust. <laughs> you just gotta trust me. But look, I say that though. I swear, I you a woman. You a woman. Right. So you might understand. Hey, I hate meeting different women. I hate. I hate just even coming in contact bed wise or conversation wise. I don't like that. That's why I just told you. I know what type of life I want to live. I just want one girl mm -hmm. to walk on stage with or to be backstage with, like just getting me dressed right. for somebody I can really spend money on. Mm -hmm. Like I buy stupid shit out of it. <laughs> so you want that? So what are you doing to work towards that? Because I can't look for it. It's going to throw me off train. But you feel like you have that person. I can't be wrong. Oh, you feel like, oh, you're not allowed to legally. Yeah. Mm. 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 Uh, you talking about Jania? He probably talking about Jania. Yeah. That is so weird how... Yeah, let me know in the comments what he talking about. Um, the other... Who was he talking about? What you saying? It, that's so weird how... A person can say, I know what I want, but I'm not willing to get what I want. He live a fast life. Right. He got so, caught in that moment. Okay. But that that's what I don't understand. If you know that you want a car, guess what? Nobody's going to give you a car. So you have to work hard, fix your credit, save for a down payment, you know, Everything else you need to do in order to get that car, you can't just expect it to just fall in your lap. That goes with everything. Love, money. You got to work hard for it. Just like you working hard to get this career going. You want love, it'll come, but you have to be willing to be that person that's going to give as well. So, This was a, a great um, video because it sh it's showing me more and more about in NBA young boy. So I'm learning more and more about him. So it yeah. was good. It, it was, was a good. cool little video, y'all. But yeah. that's the end of this man. Young boy Angela Lee, man. Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, hit that post notification bell. And we out. Ooh.